I keep um, remote controls for both the Bugs 3 and the Bugs 3 Mini or EX2 Mini handy because I still need them occasionally to um, to calibrate the gyro which is something that doesn't seem to have been implemented under deviation on my um, my jumper. So at the moment I'm about to take the batteries out of the uh, the Bugs 3 controller and it's got instructions on it because that was my first ever useful drone. So it's quite amusing looking at that again but they still make sense and I'll put it into the EX2 Mini so I can do some tests to show exactly how the modified EX2 Mini uh, boots using the original controller. Okay, so that works, now I'm ready for testing. Okay, first step with the standard controller is to hold the, the red button down, turn it on, and that's how you bind it for the first time if you haven't bound this particular uh, drone with this controller. So the next step is to put the battery in. Okay, so we've got it bound, so pressing the red button spins up the props. Nothing goes. Okay, so that's the procedure with the standard one. Hold down the button and it goes off. So that's, that's the normal way of going about things. Okay, now for the modified uh, EX2 Mini with the ESC 4 and one that I put in. So once again, hold the red button down, turn it on. And I hear the beep from the controller and the EX2 Mini that tells me that it's bound. So here it is. Uh, once again, hold down the red button, and it spins up, and now I can fly. Hold down the red button and it stops. Okay, uh, I suppose lastly I'll show you the two of them with the tops off. Now you can clearly see that the modified one has the non standard ESC, while over here there's the other one I've got, which fortunately has lasted quite well compared to the first one. So I haven't had the need to replace it, though, as I say, I still prefer the, the one with the replacement ESC because it's, um, it flies better. It's more controllable. So I hope this helps for anybody who's struggling with... Uh, a build.